Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today I have an American whiskey on my cask and it's a single malt. Yes, it's called the Westward American Single Malt Whiskey. And not from Kentucky, not from Tennessee, not from anywhere near there. It's from Oregon and yes, it's they say raised in Oregon. Yeah, it's 100% malted barley. I took a little bit of a yeah something out of the textbook from the Scottish, made it a bit in the Scottish image, so it is uh, this only uh, barley. Everything is grown in Portland, Oregon. That's where the barley is grown in America, and they are uh, double distillation in pot stills, matured for three years, but um, they do it in fresh American oak casks and not in used bourbon casks or barrels they call it in america so yeah um 45 percent abv it's um done in small batches and they have a rocky mountains here on the on the label and whiskey of the elements uh distinct and full of flavor born of our unique culture climate and abundant resources 100% malted barley, aged to perfection, elegant, robust, and fruity with glow. Uh, okay. <laughs> the suggestion, the suggestion for uh, for flavor is very, very strong with me. If I read the flavor, and I can already smell it on my tongue, yeah, or feel it on my tongue, and that's why I don't, I don't re usually don't read the tasting notes before I try the whiskey to get my my own perception of the whiskey. Mm -hmm. That's a little bit different. That smells, I don't wanna say it because it has such a negative touch to it, but it smells a little bit soapy, but in a very, very good way but a very, like a very clean bathroom with some scented oils or scented, I don't know, in it. Very fruity, but also very fresh and very, very round. So it's, a, yeah, very, a very mild flavor, a very creamy touch to it. So, yeah, I would associate it with soap, but not in a bad way. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. The flavor, the taste is much more robust, stronger, and more intense, some oak touches some some spiciness but also a little bit more maltiness i would have imagined that they have a little bit rye in it but they say 100 percent malted barley but they do have a little bit of a more spicy barley here in that whiskey there are there are a lot of different brands of barley and they are regional to where they grow best in Scotland and I think also mainland Europe the, the concerto or concerto yeah I'm not quite sure um, is kind of the, the main type as far as I've found out what types of barley different distilleries use here I really don't know what barley they use but it smells a lot different to what you know from the scotch it's also very very far away from a bourbon it doesn't have any any big resemblance with bourbon you have, might have a little bit of a sweet touch from that uh, fresh american oak but from the rest of it a lot less sweet that sweetness is much more subtle a bit more fruity and uh, also much more spicy than a bourbon Mm hmm mm. Good.
good whiskey. You feel that it's not a, a very old whiskey. It still has some, some young edges to it, but not, not any edges that I would uh, describe as problematic tastes or failed tastes. Um, they are really good and it has a lot of nice additive maturation. I'd really like to see one of these whiskies, maybe six, seven, eight years old, maybe 10 years old in uh, used American oak because that could be a, a, a very good single malt. This year is just, it's a good single malt. Mm. It's an adoption of the American way of single malt. I like it, but much more additive, much less subtractive maturation from what we know of the Scotch whiskies. Yeah, that was it. My take on the Westward American single malt. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.